at the Michigan International Speedway for the eighth race of season one of the SCRL Kart Series. This is the second of two twin Michigan races. Casey Nakeda, who won the first event, will be leading us to the green flag by virtue of winning that round. Clay Myers will be starting in the second spot. Riley Spurley Tube, our points leader, has a 626 point lead over Sam Oskin. Spurley Tube is starting ninth. Oskin is starting 11th. That's the starting lineup for today's race. The drivers are starting where they finished in the first round here at Michigan. Of course, there's two mile D shaped oval. Casey Nakato won the last round in Michigan by way of a last turn, last lap pass on Clay Myers. Nakato is looking to become the first driver to sweep a race weekend. No one has ever won both races on the race weekend. Marcus Sasachi came close but at Atlanta. Spurley Tube won back-to-back -back races at Indy and Trenton, but those were not in the same weekend. So, yeah. Nikato looking for the sweep. Of course, 20 laps will be the distance for today's race. And that is pretty much it. We've had a good season so far. We had first-time winners. We had established veterans come back and win races. And we have had big crashes. So we'll see what trend continues here in race number eight. And now for those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines. The field is rolling off. Doesn't look like anybody's having any problems, I believe. Oh, wait, we got 54. Right there, Carol Dent. It's showing tire damage. And, yep, she's on the inside line, so Carol Dent will forfeit her starting position, and she'll head to pit road. So we'll have to see if Carol... And her Atari racing team can figure out the problem and get her back out on track. Because if she does not cross the start finish line, she will not be recorded as having completed a lap. So horrible luck for Carol Dent. Casey Nakato knows that feeling very well. She had an engine failure at the start of the first Atlanta race. Her team repaired it. She came back out on track. She finished last, but she was able to finish the race but two laps down. And now Nakato, several races later, has won a race. So Carol Den is, hopefully that same thing will happen to her. She gets a bad finish, and maybe she'll come back and win a race. The first for the Dent family. So Casey Nakato made a last turn, last lap pass, beat Clay Myers through the line in the second closest margin in series history. Looking to sweep here at Michigan Pace Car and Carol Denton head on to Pitt Road. And we will begin our second twin race here at Michigan. We're green for the second time here at the two-mile oval. Nakato off a great jump on Clay Myers. Clay trying to cut down in front of Rowan Marmot as we head off into turn number one. Here comes Rowan on the inside line. Rowan, our winner at Phoenix. He knows how to get it done here in the kart series. Being chased by the 18 of Jack Legacy. And there you see our points leader, Riley Spurley Tube. He's working his way up. Started P10. And you see Rowan made a peek on Casey, but not able to get around her. And for the second race in a row, Casey Nakato will lead a lap here in the kart series. You see Jack Legacy making a move for second place. He's not going to wait long behind Rowan. And there you see Carol Dent is back out on track. She is not a lap down, so we'll have to see what happens there. Jack Legacy making a move on the inside line of Casey Nakato. Here comes Riley Spurley to being pushed by Sam Oskin, his championship contender. Oskin needs to beat Spurley Tube every single race for the next six races in order to have a shot at the championship. Here comes Jack Legacy at the Miller 18 car. Legacy will lead a lap, so that will turn his season around just a little bit. 
Now if he can just get a win. Sproly Tube is stuck on the inside line as Oskin is stuck in the middle. Not where you want to be here at Michigan. That's the sucker hole. You get pulled all the way to the back of the pack. And here comes Raleigh Sproly Tube, our points leader. Looking for win number three on the season. He goes up high just a little bit to get Jack Legacy out of line. And Sproly Tube on lap number three assumes the race lead. Sproly Tube has never won a championship in his career. He's trying to turn that around here in the kart series. And what a huge boost he got by winning at Indy. He gained 1,000 points, and with that 1,000 points added to his, he has a 626-point lead. So Sproly Tube, he just has to be consistent over the next six races. He could get his first championship as we're slowly approaching Carol Dent. Sproly Tube, oh, going to be stuck in the middle. Here comes the 14 of Derek Green. But Sproly Tube did lead that lap, so he'll lead two laps here at Michigan. As the field is spread it out just a little bit, we got three wide. Casey Nicato is falling back just a little bit. She's trying to sweep Michigan races. Not going to fan out for her if she stays right where she's at right now. Derek Green has assumed the lead, of course. There's a 0-4 of Matt Boy, who was involved in the caution the last race. Here comes Easton Myers on the inside line. It's a drag race. Derek Green will lead that lap. We got 15 laps to go here around the two-mile track, and you see Chaka Dusk Watcher gets a good run in turn number one. She has never won here in the SCRL or the kart series. Trying to turn that around here today. Had a good run at Atlanta, just never could get the finish she probably deserved. That she's gonna make it three wide into turn number one, three, excuse me. She's going for P1, and she will take it. And out the final turn, Chaka Dusk Watch becomes the first Chaka to lead a lap here in the kart series. So that's your history moment for today. And they are catching Carol Dent. She's right there in turn two. They are in turn one, so they will catch her unless there's a caution. Here comes the Snowball Derby race winner champion, Daniel Bouchard. Bouchard has the record for leading the most laps in the SCRL race at 221. He led 221 of 300 laps, and he dominated that Snowball Derby. As Bouchard is about to be passed by May Mavon Tamey, and Bouchard will not lead a lap, so Bouchard still is lap leadless in his kart career. Here comes, is that who I think it is? Yep, that is Kristen Russell in the 68 car. Our Chili Bowl winner. So we got both the Chili Bowl and the Snowball Derby winners in this field. Currently, Christian is showing Daniel how it's done. As he goes for the lead, Mavon Tamey tried to block. Not able to do so. And Christian Russell will lead a lap for the second time here at Michigan. He led it in the last round. And you see where you could hear Carol Dent. She's right there. Got to see if live traffic gets involved. The only way that will save Carol Dent is if we get a caution. Of course, about this time last round, we had a caution when a six-car wreck happened, I believe it was. Russell maintains his race lead as he tries to block Matt McIntyre and does. Yeah, Carol Dent is screaming, pleading, and praying for a caution. She doesn't want to be a part of one. She wants one to come out, though, to save her. Kristen Russell leads another lap. We got 11 laps to go. Let's see how fast. Let's see. Kristen Russell is going 184. She's going 174, so it's about a 10-mile-an-hour difference going into turn one. Kristen Russell blocks the middle lane. 
He's going to cut down in front of Casey Nikato. Yes, he will. But nikato has got a good run off turn number four, just like she did when she won the last round. And Nikato leads as we are officially halfway. If the rains come, this race will be over. Off into turn one again. Here comes Daniel Grachach being pushed by the 18 of, no, excuse me, the 98 of Al Legacy. Jack Legacy is way back there as well as Raleigh Spurley too. Here comes Casey Nikato around live traffic and they will. Daniel tried to get in front of Al Legacy, but Al is not having none of it. And we have caught live traffic and Carol Denton goes one lap down. Casey Nikato leads again. Nine laps to go. Jack, excuse me, Al likes it. Wants to keep calling him Jack. Al takes the lead. Al is being pushed by the 44 car of Giorgio Tatsuyami. And behind him is, whoa, Sam Oskin second in points, but Oskin is going to lose a lot of ground. He was inside points, but he's going to be falling back a lot, especially with Riley Spurley Tube trailing the field right now, on the lead lap at least. Al Legacy leads another lap. We got seven laps to go. Here comes that 44 car, Giorgio Tatsuyami. And that Carl's Jr. number 44 entry. And I hope it don't jinx it, but it was this time, last race, that we had a caution entering turn one and into turn number two. So we'll have to see if that streak continues. Or can we go caution free? We'll see. Here comes the 19 of David Breyers. He will not lead that lap. Georgia will. And yep, it was officially this lap that we had a caution. Driver's going three wide. Making sure everybody's, speaking of the driver that caused the caution, it was Dexter Black making contact with a driver, but this time he does not. So we are clear for now. David Briars continues to hold the race lead as Joe Jefferson has assumed second place. Behind them is the 14 of Derek Green. Whoa, Joe tried to pull out, but just not fast enough. Derek Green going to make a move. And they're all one big pack of 33 cars all together within one, well, actually within two seconds of each other. Everybody's all grouped together. We got five laps to go this time by Derek Green is our race leader. He has never won in this series, and here comes Carol Dent trying to get her lap back. So she is playing a factor. She just cost Matt McIntyre, excuse me, Ray Dent, a shot. On the inside line, here comes Ray Dent Jr. So you got the Dent family all together. You got Ray Dent Jr., Ray Dent Sr., and Carol Dent. You got four laps to go this time by. Derek Green continuing to hold the race lead. I see Sproly Tube on the inside line way back there with Rowan Marmot. So they're trying to work together, try and get up here, but we got four laps to go. Not sure if there's enough time. As Carol Dent goes down to block Ray Dent, Jr. Carol trying to get her lap back. This is not for the lead, but she's going to cost Derek Green the inside line. Four to go. If we get a caution, this race is over. Here comes Dylan Ibrahim, man, who had a good run in the first Michigan race. He wants to seal it. And speaking of good runs, Ryan Pritchard, who was the race leader as we went back to racing at Michigan in round one, he finds himself in the top five once again with less than four laps to go. So Pritchard is trying to seek redemption. He was the race leader, but then he fell back to eight, so he lost seven spots in the last two laps. Three laps to go. Dylan Ibrahim is our new race leader. Here comes Ryan Pritchard on the inside line. 
Can he clear? Nope, not able to. Dillian maintains his race lead. And his Mountain Dew entry, two and a half laps to go. Up you see Riley Spurley, two got stuck on the middle by Daniel Bouchard. Whoa, Spurley two not able to get down it. Oh yes, he does. What an aggressive move by our points leader. <coughs> Excuse me. Two laps to go. Dillian on the high side will lead that lap, but here comes Ryan Pritchard on the inside line. Being pushed by the 21, 26, give me a Chad Myers. So Dillian will not win this race, neither will Ryan Pritchard unless something major happens. Chad Myers walking the middle lane. Here comes the 30 of Titus. No, yeah, the, no, sorry. The 21 of Clay Myers being pushed by the three of Michael Brown, who just won at Trenton. You see Clay Myers going down the block. White flag, one lap to go. Here we go. This is it. It's either checkers or wreckers. Here comes Danny Bouchard on the inside line, our Snowball Derby winner. Again, a push from behind. You see the 21, Clay Myers goes up to block the high lane. Then the middle. And the turn three is going to cut down in front of Dan Bouchard. Nope, not fast enough. Bouchard of a run. Whoops. Off the final turn. Is there enough time? I don't believe there will be. And Daniel Bouchard is going to score his first cart win. He wins the second round here at Michigan. And we have, for the second race in a row, a last lap pass. Here your race results. Daniel Bouchard scores the win on a last lap pass. Second, Carlos Rodriguez. Third, Clay Myers. Fourth, Jack Legacy. Fifth, Michael Brown. Sixth, Rowan Marmot. Seventh, Chad Myers. Eighth, Christian Russell. Ninth, for the second race in a row, Riley Spurley Tube. And tenth, Ryan Pritchard. Rest your race results. We had 32 drivers finish race on the lead lap. Carol did the only driver one lap down. She had a tire problem at the start of the race. Well, that is it here for Michigan. We'll take you to victory lane for the first time in this series with our snowball race winner, Daniel Bouchard. Here are your point standings after the eighth race of the season at Michigan. Riley Spurley Tube has a 674 point lead over Sammy Oskin. He gained 48 points on Oskin by finishing ninth in back to back races. Third is Clay Myers, 735 points behind. Fourth is Chase Miller, 750 points behind. And fifth is David Breyers, 806 points behind. Seventh, sixth is Rowan Marmot. Seventh is Carlos Rodriguez. Eighth is Jack Legacy. Ninth is Michael Brown. And tenth is Ray Dent Jr. 11th is Clay Myers, 12th is Trey Wright, 13th is Marcus Sasachi, 14th is Dexter Black, 15th is Daniel Grachach, 16th is Kristen Russell, 17th is Carol Dent, 18th is Titus Marchi, 19th with the win, Daniel Bouchard gained 11 spots, and 20th is Ryan Pritchard. 21st, Dylan Eberheimen, 22nd, Ray Dent, 23rd, Casey Nakato, 24th, Jack Desquatcher, 25th, Al Legacy, 26th, Derek Green, 27th, Matt McIntyre, 28th, Joe Jefferson, 29th, Matt Boy, and 30th is Giorgio Tatsuyami. 31st is Easton Myers, 32nd is Marvon Tamey, 33rd, Jay Jefferson, 34th, Chris Kyle, and last in points is Blazy Batar. That is your point standings after the 8th race of the season at Michigan. We'll next see you for the first road course event of the season at the Watkins Glen International. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.